Welcome to Guitar Search Saturdays, also known to our overseas friends as Guitar Find Fridays. My name is Shane and today we're heading to one of the most interesting areas in Melbourne called Dandenong. <laughs> to some of the long-term subscribers, you'll definitely remember my Jam Night documentary. The Jam was actually hosted by The Green Table, which is in Dandenong. Up until recently, Dandenong has always had a bad stigma attached to it. When people of Melbourne think of Dandenong, they think of crime, they think of drugs, and they think of low-income housing. While they're making improvements in the area, I still feel like Dandenong has quite a ways to go before it'll just be another Melbourne suburb. It's not uncommon in most areas to see quite a number of second-hand stores and pawn shops in lower-income areas. The one that always has the most guitar gear is none other than Cash Converters. Let's go in and see what they've got. Oh man, off to a not so strong start. Mega, 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 mega amp. amp. Fingers crossed we find something better than this. Awesome, saved by a red Epiphone SG. There's something kind of gnarly about an SG with exposed humbuckers. I like it. Check out this court electric guitar. I'm not exactly sure what these pickups are, but they resemble Joe Barden, or at least Seymour Duncan style pickups. I highly doubt these are stock in this particular guitar. This is the beauty of going to secondhand stores. A lot of people mod their guitars and then they sell them or trade them in. Being that they might be boutique third party pickups, a guitar at this price may actually be a bit of a bargain. Over the years, especially for acoustic blues, the Resonator guitars definitely have a really great vibe and sound. Being that I don't actually own an acoustic guitar anymore, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should give one of these Resonators a go. In the foreground, we have a $265 Epiphone Les Paul. In Australia, this is actually a really awesome deal. Also thrown in with this Les Paul is free green nail polish on the tailpiece and bridge screws. Hmm, interesting choice. The guitar on the left of the Epiphone is actually a Samic Les Paul style guitar. Check out the shape of the horn, it's quite a bit different from that of the Epiphone Les Paul on its right. Based on the binding as well as the trapezoid inlays on the fretboard, I think visually at least, the Samic actually might have the edge over the Epiphone in this case. God only knows how great it's going to play though. Between both of these black guitars, check out what we see in the background. Mega, 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 mega amp. Please remain calm. We have our first official lefty sighting. This is always my luck. Just as I find a left-handed guitar, it has a sign on it saying, don't touch it. <laughs> awesome. In terms of value for money, court guitars are probably some of the best acoustics you can buy for their price, at least here in Australia. These are an absolute dime a dozen at any cash converters. If you go back and view some of my other episodes, you'll see a handful of these guitars in every shop. Right here's a great example of why it's worth checking out secondhand shops in your local area. Back to back we have a black and a red Squire guitar each for 165 bucks. That's an awesome deal here. Knowing what I know about these type of stores, you can generally also score a pretty huge discount if you just ask. If either of those were left handed, I'd probably snatch one up as a project guitar. Right here we have a couple of pointy guitars. I'm not sure what either of them are. The red one has actually been signed by somebody, but I can't make out whose signature that is. Maybe someone watching will know. PV. I swear, this particular solo series follows me everywhere I go. I did notice one anomaly on this amplifier. It actually has an XLR microphone input. Weird. 
I see these Marshall Valve State amps at so many cash converters, one day I'm actually going to give one a shot and see what it's like. I can almost predict how this will go. I'll buy one, take it home, test it, and then sell it at another cash converters. There we go, two Marshall Valve State amps in a row. This one's a little bit bigger and also is a little more beat up around the edges. Here's something that I can recall never seeing in a cash converter till this day. It's a PV Delta Blues. It's highly unlikely to see one of these in a cash converter, and this particular one had a free spider's nest in the back. It was really hard to flip this amp down without one of the staff members coming over and asking me if I needed some help, which I didn't. But yeah, the spider's nest in the back was a sight to be seen. Hey, mate, right. hey how are you, mate? Good, man. Can I help you out really? Irrespective of the spiders crawling around in the back, they were asking $795 for that amp, which is insane. You can buy one new for about $100 or $200 more. I'm not exactly sure if I would call this an effects section of their cabinet, but this is the lower shelf. There's nothing here to really get that excited about. Except I have no idea what this is. If someone knows, please let me know. I've been lucky enough to pick up Dan Electro pedals from Cash Converters for $15. I have no idea why this particular one is commanding 65 bucks. I kid you not, I would take that piano accordion over just about everything else in this effects section. Finally, we find some great stuff. This particular part of the cash converter store has all of their higher end guitars. Even though this is an Epiphone, compared to what we've seen so far, I would call this a higher end guitar. I'm totally digging that Bixby. I think the color of the guitar absolutely looks wild as well. That, believe it or not, is actually a Gibson 1957 reissue Flying V. That's the real deal. I should get it and just do an Albert King. They're trying to charge 4,995 bucks for this particular guitar. While that might be reasonable, in the area of Dandenong, I can't see too many folks coming out here spending five grand on a guitar. I have a feeling this guitar's probably been here a while and will stay here a while until it's dropped to well under three grand. This yellow Strat style guitar is actually made by Cole Clark. Cole Clark are a pretty big acoustic company now. They're an offshoot of Maiden guitars in Australia. They also made electric guitars for a little while. Word around the rumor campfire says that Cole Clark were actually sued by Fender at some point for being too close to their designs. It really begs the question of why can't companies come up with designs that are unique to them? It kind of feels like there's four or five main designs and everything is just a slight variation on that. Great originality there, folks. This type of lack of originality is even more prevalent in the pedal industry. I thought I'd go back and check out some of their amplifiers again. While I did have quite a number of small practice amps, there was nothing of real value there other than the mega amps, which totally rock. It was also refreshing to note that this particular cash converters didn't have a pile of junk quad boxes. They obviously have worked out that these things don't sell and guitar players don't necessarily need them anymore. The PV Delta Blues would have to be amp of the day, even inclusive of its free spider's nest. Budget guitar of the day would definitely be this Epiphone with the Bigsby. Not only is the color awesome, the price isn't too bad and you could definitely talk them down. Epic guitar of the day would go to this Gibson Flying V. What can I say? It's just a killer guitar. As I mentioned, I have a hard time believing this guitar is gonna sell for anywhere near that price. I think they're dreaming. If you were closer to an upper class area in Melbourne where the income is a lot higher, maybe it might sell, but in Dandenong, this will be there forever. Mega, 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 mega amp. amp. And that wraps up another Guitar Search Saturdays. See you next week.